Hello. Hey, I'm JQ. I'm TQ. We're, We're the, the Q, Q brothers. brothers, and this is Small Flower TV. Um, coming at you from an unorthodox location this time because <laughs> the we're doing construction on my swanky new office. So probably next time you see us, we'll be in a hot tub or something. <laughs> You're going to have a hot tub? <laughs> no, just joking. Um, no, but, I want to talk about something that's like a basic, basically. That, uh, basic, basically. Basically it is. Um, it's just like probably the most important supplement that anyone could come in and say, hey, I'm not taking anything. What would be one thing I could add? This would be probably our number this would be one a certain, recommendation. Yeah, or it would be in the top two or three. Two, yeah, um, it's it's a serious. Uh, it's something that we think is a uh, an essential. A pill. It is actually an essential. They call it an essential fatty acid. Essential fatty acids. We're talking fish oil, ladies and gentlemen. We're talking gentlemen. about fish oil. Yeah. Um, so. So what is fish oil? Fish oil is oils from cold water fish. From fish. Yeah. So why do we need them? You tell me, Jay. I mean, well, well, there's two kinds of uh, I omega just, I just sell it. There's, <laughs> there's two kinds of omega threes that are mainly talked about. You hear about DHA and EPA. Yeah. And they have a variety of uses, but basically, you're talking about the building blocks of cognitive function. I, it's brain food, eye food. This is good for the skin. Um, basically, when people you're say you're buying fats. Yeah. You know, there's a soul. I just want to address first of all. It's a in little bit 90s, of a tangent, right? but I think, yeah, in the 90s especially, you know, I remember uh, dating various girls who would always eat these, like, I bought cookies, but they're no-fat no cookies, fat. right? Like, they'd, like, chow out on these cookies, and it was ridiculous, and then wonder why nothing, you know, like, they were still worried about their weight. It wasn't weight, but you know what I mean? Like, everyone had this fat obsession, but that's wrong. You need fats. You can't be healthy if you don't have fats in your body. So if you're one of those people who's like, it's a little fat, I'm not sure about fat, like, you, need, fats, you gotta rethink fats that. Fats are good. Fats are good. Now, there are good fats and bad fats. Right. Certain fats, certainly going and eating fries every day. Uh, it's a bad, be a bad That'd be a lot of bad fat for you, yeah. um, for anyone. So I think we need to question what kind of fats we have. But the idea of fat B equals bad is an old, outdated, totally disproved, yeah. um, you know, idea. And so the, the thing is, when people come in and say like, well, why should I take fish oil? It's more like, it would be easier to tell you, to ask, why shouldn't I? You yeah. know, like there's so many reasons too. And with so many drugs and side effects people are worried about, this is one thing that you just get a million, what we like to call in the front of the store, these side benefits. Yeah. You know, which is Side such benefits, a, isn't that awesome? That's an awesome word. I wish everything we did had side, side benefits. benefits. Some things do, a yeah. lot of things do. Yeah. So um, <clears throat> I'll just go through maybe a little list of like the main things, reasons why people sure. take it. Promoting cardiovascular health, right? So people yeah. take it who are um, trying to uh, lower cholesterol, things like that. Yeah, in, in Europe especially, there's doctors that are and prescribing fish oil. It's starting to happen more in the U.S. Some of you may have heard that. Your doctor will prescribe a, a you know, a prescription fish oil. It's just fish oil. Uh, but it's fish oil. <laughs> it's just, uh, you know, made so, by a certain company. Where they educate, where they get the doctors to prescribe that that particular exactly. drug. So um, reduces inflammation and pain post exercise. It also shows that that in any inflammatory situation could be eased by it. So yeah. anything that ends in an itis, basically, <laughs> yeah. you want to be taking fish oil. Yeah, yeah. no, it's, it has anti-inflammatory properties. Yeah. So that's always it's helpful. It's going to support mental function, cognitive function. Pregnant women. Um, and I was about to get if you're, that. yeah, sorry, jump in the no, gun, no, but it's ahead. just, you know, as the father of uh, two young girls, I know that that was something that my wife, uh, we took, you know, I take fish oil, my wife takes it, but during pregnancy she upped her quantities of fish oil because, you know, the body is an amazing machine. And you're building a machine. Jet. Let's, you know, we all can agree. Whatever you think, the body's amazing, and you're building this life inside of you and you want to build this human being that has complete and full, de fully developed cognitive function. So your and body... is out to here. Yeah, and and my kids on eyelashes. eyelashes. <laughs> yeah. But, but, uh, but what, you, uh, what you need to do is, part of the issue is, your body will automatically divert your stores of essential That's fatty true. acids to the fetus as it develops. Yeah. So you want to be thinking, especially women, if you're going to give, if you're expecting to get pregnant, you are pregnant. And especially after you've been pregnant, 
if you're even if you're not nursing, but especially if you're nursing, your body is going to continue to channel all of the you'll be depleted. stores of essential fatty acids in your body to the baby because you know nature knows, hey, this is the next generation. Let's make sure that this one survives and, they and so it. and thrives. And so you are going to be depleted. So you need to do that. So it's important to restore for yourself. If you're going to have another kid, it's especially important because then you won't even have those stores for the second kid. So yeah. these are all important things. So uh, I'm a big believer. Whatever you do, if you're pregnant and you're not taking fish oil, um, whoa. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> they're talking about promoting eye health. That's a big thing. So it, with people who have um, constantly dry eye, like a chronic dry eye thing, it's great for that. Sure. Also, they show that. Well, what does fat do? Right, it lubricates, lubricates, right? It's oily. Right. It's oil. Um, healthy pregnancy, you talked about that. Brain and eye development in the kids. They see less incidences of childhood uh, allergies and other disorders with kids that have been, the moms have been taking fish oil. Wow. Um, uh, promotes optimal fat metabolism. So with positive effect on body shape and composition. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. You so, don't avoid fat. You take fat. To, to be less fat. fat. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's exactly, that's, right. that's exactly yeah. true. And that's the, the myth that people have. So if you're still one of those people stuck in the 90s trying to think you need to avoid fat, let's get on a new program. Yeah. Um, the other, so then people say, which ones should I take? Because they see a lot of different brands out there. Um, and the, the, the short answer is anyone. If you're not taking one, just take, take a fish oil. You know, we have if tons, cost, we're having to sell you, but issue, get, one. get yourself a fish oil. Yeah, period. yeah. But this is everybody I've yeah. talked to, including the experts who represent certain lines of fish oils, including some of the ones we'll talk about, have said to me, look, if it's a matter of getting someone taking fish oil versus not, just get them to take, take it. it. Forget about which brand they exactly. take. So, that being said, the two brands that we recommend. We are, have a bunch, but the, yeah, two the ones that, that we really like the best, and there's, we'll explain why. Um, the first one, you want to explain this one? Sure. This is a whole mega by New Chapter. Um, New Chapter is we we've talked about them in a few other videos. I think that they're a great company, and their whole um, they're usually focused on doing things that are in a whole food environment and have not been. Are we okay? Okay, not been extracted uh, in any way that uses awesome. chemicals. And they, they try for the least processing possible. So they sort of came out with the first, what they call is, um, this is not an isolated or distilled fish, a molecularly distilled fish oil, this is a pressed fish oil. They dropped the phrase cold pressed because there is mild heat and they, I think don't, no one wants to fight the how, how cold it's is cold, pressed. but it's but it's not a heated uh, or using chemical solvents to distill the fish oil. Now their claim is, and this happens to be uh, the one that I take, is that um, when you do that, you're getting a complete fish oil rather than when you distill it, you can take out the parts that you want, and the EPA and the DHA, which are the two most common. Well, the reason they do it, and first of all, they they, they heat it up <clears throat> molecularly, they distill out the mercury in most fish oil. Okay. Yeah. So that's what they're doing, but in that process, you're uh, some of the more fragile. Impurities. Other impurities. Yeah, but some of the more fragile omegas, like five and seven, are destroyed during that process. So seven is great for skin and lubrication, mucosal lining. Five is great for the absorption of three. So you need that. You know? Yeah, and it goes with the whole theory that we've touched on before. But if you can, whole if you believe food. it, that a whole food has uh, is more than the sum of its parts. So just taking, like, saying, like, I'll take EPA and DHA is taking two parts of something that in nature your body expects to find along with a host of other components, all of which form a complete picture to your body and thus are used more effectively and more, uh, yeah, more effectively, yeah. right? So that's that's the idea. And so and that's why I take it, I really like it. Um, um, I mean, then the other thing, because I brought up the taking out the mercury thing, then you say, well, well how do they get it out? Well, just so they know, um, the the salmon that they use is Alaskan salmon is a short life cycle. It's sustainable, and they're using it at the end of its life cycle, and so they're getting, um, it, and it's only been a year or two it's been in the, in the Yeah, and there, the there's, a, there's a short time that, they're, that they are harvesting these salmon, and they're the ones that are, you're finding at Whole, Whole Foods and the other places. places. The, rest the, the, fish, the, the rest of the fish is where they're getting the oil. So these are they made a barge right next to the barge for the processing of fish for, for food. Yeah. They take the parts immediately, and so the idea is to minimize the time 
that it could go rancid, that anything could happen, right, right, right. and get it pressed. And then there's a natural preservative. Uh, rosemary. It's rosemary oil, and I think is there a little uh, oregano as yeah. well, and some sunflower oil that is what they call their um, stability system that they've developed, so that you don't have to have any preservatives. I'd like to talk about the other one too, because yeah. this one's great. And you think, of, like, oh, I'm going to take a liquid, and you, yeah, like, the brand is Nordic Natural. Grossed out, but these liquids are awesome. They taste good, and the the thing that I like about this one is that um, Nordic Naturals it, it processes in Norway. Mm -hmm. Okay, so these were the, these guys have been the gold standard of fish oil for what? How long now? I mean, the last past decade at least, but going beyond that, they've been the, the gold standard of fish oil, and so, they still are. If you had to pick our Two high, highest quality brands right now, the Nordic New Chapter and Nordic Natural. So the things I like about this brand, um, it's glass. It's in cobalt glass. So there's no light is going to come in and, and make it rancid. You, and isn't it nitrogen flushed as wait, well? Wait, hold on, yeah, I'm uh, about to get there. So, love not nitrogen. only that, it's okay. in a nitrogen environment. Um, from the moment it's caught, it goes into a nitrogen cooler from there. Um, until you open the bottle. And the, the idea is, so, so lack of oxygen prevents rancidity yeah. and, and, you So know. what happens is they work only with local fishermen who are out for the day at a time, no big liners. That's they awesome. bring them back every day, they take them out of the cooler, that nitrogen cooler, in a nitrogen environment, then process it, get all the oil out, encapsulate it, put it in there, in a nitrogen Not environment. Not encapsulate it, but in, 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 I mean, in a bottle. I mean, bottle it, yeah. put, it in the, put it in the bottle, then it's sent to you. The next time it touches oxygen since it's been caught is when you open this bottle. Yeah, because it's flush with nitrogen. <laughs> it's so That's cool. pretty darn cool. Um, and they're delicious. The, the other thing you get with the cod liver oil is that you get the naturally occurring vitamin D that's in the cod livers. Vitamin is, D. Going into these huge. long winters up north, that's... Uh, that's a big deal. Yeah. A lot of people ask, um, is it possible to get my omega-3s from a vegan or vegetarian source? Yeah. And the answer is yes, you can get omega-3s, but but you don't process the the ALA, which is the parent fat in omega-3, which is how you get DHA and EPA. It doesn't convert to those two that are useful to the body very well in humans. You get very poor conversion rates. So. Yeah, ideally, I would stress even if you're... A We're not telling you what to eat or what yeah. to do, but just that if your goal is to get these essential fatty acids, the unless you are absolutely opposed to yeah. taking animal products, consider taking a fish oil. Yeah. Uh, if you do, you know, then you're going to... You can talk to us or you do research out yeah. there. And we'll it, find and another, it now, another way, but, but fish oil yeah. seems to be the best way to get these essential fatty acids into the body. Yeah, and if you're absolutely so if you're positive that that's something you don't want to do, I, we do suggest that you get it from a chia seed, chia oil source. That would be the, the best omega-3 source that we know of yeah. and that we recommend the most. But uh, any way you can, get your omega-3s, eat good fats, yeah. and remember that it's going to keep you healthy and good. happy. You know what I, for me, my uh, huge scores on the good cholesterol. Yeah, noticeable by my doctor when I started right? upping my amount. I started taking fish. My my cholesterol is what they would say is hmm, borderline. You should watch it. The ratio, but my ratio good of good to, to total. bad, my, my good to total ratio. Huge. Mine too. I have a huge amount of yeah. good cholesterol, and then my doctor told me was like, you know what? We just got to watch other factors, make sure nothing goes out of whack. But you're doing fine. That's great. Good cholesterol, and that has a huge benefit. We were just talking about that, yeah. about good cholesterol. It's good for anti-inflammatory and all that. No. Cholesterol is good. For, it happens for a reason. Yeah. Bad, too much cholesterol. and yeah. everything. Yeah. There's lots so anyway, of reasons. take your fish oil, uh, and we'll see you next time on Small Talk TV. Bye. Bye.